It actually emerged out of a trip that I went on with my husband and my brother-in-law. We went down to Honduras following um, Hurricane Mitch. I was not a good builder. I was not a good cement mixer. So I was reassigned to help deliver aid. And through some of those experiences when we came back, we just had a discussion on trying to do something. And the topic came up to send a container and we said, okay. And we started from there. Basically it took us 18 months to get enough for the first shipment. Now we do one, we can load one every two weeks. The broad view, we have about 125 volunteers. I involve all of them because we have people who pick up boxes, we pick up supplies, who are there at the drop-off and arrange drop-offs. We have people who do the sorting and the processing inside. We have people who move boxes. Then we have people who actually load them inside the container. Every person is needed. We need the box, we need the person who's picking up, and we need the person who actually physically put in the container. So. It's my whole team. There is not one standalone part of the warehouse. Everybody is important. If you don't have boxes, you can't pack. If you don't have somebody to, to do the drop off or do the taping or do the inventory, you can't load. If you don't have people who actually know how to put it all together inside, it doesn't work. It really is a team. I have got the best volunteers in the entire world, and I mean that. They are amazing. They truly humble me who comes to volunteer. I think one of the things that we all share is everyone has a compassionate heart. Everybody recognizes that there is someone in need and they want to do something to help. That may be just very simply that they are just coming to help sort, but everybody has this heart and that is the common denominator. How we work that out is all different. We have people who are incredibly detail orientated and those who are not. We have people who are amazing packers and those who are not. But the common denominator is that they're, they're just, they have this heart to make a difference. And they work together and they come together in the warehouse to make a difference. And they find their little area that they love coming and they can hardly wait to get there. Every box they pack is perfect. In every box they would love to receive themselves. And I think that is part of it is they're all areas of their, a lot of their areas of expertise, either in a, from a hobby standpoint or from a professional or just what they enjoy doing. But every box they pack they would like to receive. And you hear so many comments that, oh, I really wish I could be there to see somebody open that pitch, that this box, because it's just got so many good things inside. And, and they're excited about what they have done. I think that's what makes it work, is every box is packed with lots of love and whatever else they can find to put in there that make the whole box work, or that specific area needs. I think some of the things that keep them going is when you hear reports back. Um, I mean, you see that you see the need on the, the TV. You hear the reports in the news. We get the reports of, of this is the project and this is what the need is and this is what they're doing and this is the, the, the challenges they're facing. But I think what really keeps them going is when you get the occasional picture back. So we try and work with groups that will report back to us because it's a requirement. But if they can send a picture back, then that motivates the entire warehouse. They've made a difference in somebody's life. There is there's a real live person receiving what they have given in the container. And that motivates everybody. It motivates the person who's donated it, people who have to pick up boxes who never are inside the warehouse, to those who have packed something. We're all motivated by that. And we see the difference one thing can make in somebody's life.